So here's how to test diamonds with water and a lighter. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your cup of water and you're going to grab your stone. This stone to the naked eye might look like a diamond, but in truth, it's just a piece of glass. We grab our lighter and just let it let it burn for a little bit here. Hold it for a bit. Make sure it's all black. It seems good. Now let's drop it in the water. That quick change of temperature to see what happens. As you see, the stone is basically all black and there's all these particles coming up to the top of the water. Now let's just take out the stone. It cleans up a little bit and drop it again. Now the change of temperature to a real diamond shouldn't do anything. The diamond should be absolutely fine right after it. Now a piece of glass or a, a false stone will more than likely have cracked. Now let's try it again, but with a legitimate diamond. As you can see, it sparkles quite a lot more than the other one, even though the camera wasn't able to grab it too well. We're going to run the same setup here. We're going to leave it under fire for a little bit. Make sure it turns all black. All right, just a little bit more. Let's wait and see. You don't want to overdo it, but you also don't want to leave it there for a couple seconds. That looks good. Let's drop it in the water. Same thing's happening. It cleans itself up a little bit. Now let's pick it up from the water and let's dry it off. As you can see, the diamond is unaffected once dried up. It's still sparkling, still looks great inside as it did before. Just a little bit more side points that you can see. This is the original, the glass one, the first one I did. As you can see inside, it's become an absolute mess. So as you can see, it is very easy to tell when a real diamond compared to a piece of glass, so to say, something fake. But this stone I have here in my hand that I'm lighting up right now is actually a monsonite, which is also very similar to diamond. And we're just going to run the same test here. We're just going to leave it under fire for a little bit, see how it reacts to it. And afterwards, we will drop it in the water. Just the same thing. Rinse and repeat. And here's the results from dropping the monsonite in the water after burning it for a little bit. The monsonite is in perfect condition. Nothing wrong with it inside. I know you can't see too well. I'll add some additional pictures so that you guys can get a better view of it. But that's the result for that. Now, the reason I did the monsonite test at the end here was to show you that just because the stone doesn't crack with the quick change of temperature, it doesn't mean that it is 100% a diamond. It's a good sign, and it's leading you the right way, but it doesn't mean that it is a diamond. You need to do additional tests for that or seek expert advice to be 100% certain. If this video was helpful in any way, I would really appreciate a like on the video, and thanks for watching.